Okay, what do we got next? Well, uh, this is totally a side note. <laughs> I have an F-250 Ford truck. I got two dogs that sometimes don't like to get along. They had a long trip, they're stressed back there. They just want to get out, and then they're stepping on each other. Well, sometimes they get snotty and nobody wants that. So sometimes you gotta separate your children with four legs. Well, I can't find anything on the market that's worth a darn to do that for large dogs or to separate them from the front of the truck. This is a crew cab truck. So what I'm gonna do is uh, build, I think what I guess the police call a partition in the back. And this is what it looks like. So I cut it out of cardboard Then I thought I was gonna make it out of this kid mat clean it up, pat it, and use straps to hold it tight. And I decided that's not strong enough. The dogs aren't going to try to physically, you know, destroy it. But I just, it needs to be solid enough that if one flops against it, you know, trying to lay down and take a nap, it's not going to knock it completely over. It has to be able to physically be strong enough. So I decided plywood. Anyhow, this is the shape. So this area here, the vents to the back, the dogs really like those. So there's gonna be one on each side. So you have to imagine, right? This is sitting up like this. You can see it in between the two seats. Get the idea? And this right here is the uh, console area where your elbow would go on up here. So there'll be a piece 90 degrees on here that'll go really between the two front seats to keep dogs from passing through this way into the front. I'll make that short and then add some kind of flexible on the edges to touch the seats because I don't want anything tearing up the interior of the truck. And then up here at the top corner, what I decided was in the back seat, there's a third person, you know, middle headrest. And if I use the two metal poles behind it and strap and a nylon strap over the top, of the headrest, that'll be about the right height to attach it here. So if that's held this way, imagine the thing's vertical now, it's not gonna be able to pull this way or forward if it's strapped down there, at least that's the plan. So this is the general shape. I'm gonna get this cut out of plywood. I'm gonna get a piece. I, I have the, you know, I made a template out of cardboard uh, for this divider between the two front seats to separate the back seat from the front seat. I'm gonna get that screwed on there hard also with probably L aluminum L brackets or something. And then anyways, dogs aren't gonna like plywood. It's gonna seem scary and loud. So how do you fix that? I had leftover boat carpet, indoor outdoor carpet scraps. And I think the easy way to do this is gonna be staple that stuff down. I think I have actually some leftover adhesive that's supposed to be for gluing this down to the plywood decking on a pontoon boat if you were going to use it for that purpose. So I may go ahead and use that adhesive and uh, glue it down in addition to staple it, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But the point is, one way or the other, I'm going to cover it with this blue stuff and then pad the edges so nothing can tear up a seat. I want this to be very easily removable too where if you undo that strap on the headrest, right? Um, you can lift this thing out, throw it in the bed of the truck, and then you'll see later on in the video, there's a bench that I made so that instead of having a spot where your legs go, if you're a human passenger in the back seat, the whole seat's flat so that the dogs can't roll off the edge or whatever, they have the whole area to pace around back there, so. This will divide the back seat into two flat dog areas where they can stand up, circle around, lay back down, but they're separated from each other and they can't jump forward and get in the front seats either, which they love to do when you're at a campground trying to check in or whatever. They're getting excited, they're ready to get out, they go bananas and just, yeah. This way I don't have to worry about them getting snotty with each other or jumping up in the front of the cab and torturing us so um i didn't want to have to do this it's like so many of these projects 
You have to. There's not something commercially available that I could find anyway on Amazon or eBay or anything else to do this job. So here I am having to make it. Let's see what happens. Prototype cut from here to there, 22 inches. Do 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 Safest work shoes there are. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see here. Well, I guess you don't need me to cut this, but by the way, you know, all, these are considered kind of cheapy. I tell you what, this works tool. Uh, I'm not endorsed by it or anything, but it actually works really good. It lights up when you want to cut, and unlike some of these other saws, it seems like you can see if you're on the line from pretty much anywhere just by looking at the gap and the combination of the light. I'm actually real impressed by that cheapy tool. Anyway, moving back on. You don't need to watch me cut this. I'm going to cut this out and then uh, screw it onto those aluminum L channels. Then we'll go shove it in the truck and see how it looks. Yeah, we better stab proof this thing for a... Destroy the truck. We'll radius all the corners. I am. Culprit number one. The culprits. <laughs> Come here, you two mongoloids. <laughs> yeah, these two need to get separated in the back so they can both relax. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Poor buddy. All right, this is what we got. That's what I'm talking about. Now, can you see it? So this is a Ford. Oh, Daisy, you're not supposed to be in there yet. Well, you get the idea. I'm going to put a strap between here and there, punch a hole through the wood, tie it tight on both sides. That should keep this thing from flapping this way. And then go up over the top of the center uh, backrest right there and connect to the wood. That should keep it from moving that direction. That's it. I think if it's padded, they're not going to get scared of it. It's gonna feel solid to them, so they won't be afraid that it's gonna fall on them or make noise or anything. Yep, she's ready to go. All right. Okay, next phase, how to strap this thing down. I talked about it. Anyway, I figured the best way is to drill some holes. Huh? This will attach to the center, you know, over the top of that center back seat headrest, support posts. Those will go over to the metal poles of the two front seats. Uh, I want to have quick releases, so I scavenged through my stuff, right? And I found at least two quick release buckles. This will involve having to get out the old sewing machine, but well, what are you gonna do? And yep, how old is that, right? Leather fanny pack. Come on. Anyway, there's another quick release buckle. So something like this will go over top of that back seat, just sit on the top. And then this part would be attached to the dog divider. And when you wanted to snap it on, you snap it on there. You could adjust it tighter with this. That would pull it nice and snug against the back of the seats. And then the two in the front would keep it from moving laterally, left or right, and we're done. So. You don't need to see that, but I'm gonna crack out the sewing machine. I don't know, I might I might film that, but you get the idea. Make the strap so they're quick releases, that way when you wanna take the thing out, pull it out, that dog bench pulls out, throw everything in the back, and then you can take, you know, four passengers around and you've uh, undog proofed the back. All right, let's see what happens. All right, Dan, I think we got it. So there's the strap. Goes around the hoop, leaves a nice space where nothing's touching. The other side's the same. You can push on it, it doesn't move. That side has a strap that goes around behind and loops around, you know, the center headrest, like I said. And it's not as, as solid as I want, but I don't think that a dog is going to be beating on the bottom corner of it that bad. So. 
Otherwise, a guy could drill holes here, put a strap out there that goes right around the backside so it's pressed against the back of the seat in this crack and come down and tie on the seat belt post on each side. I don't want to. I think this is strong enough. I'm trying to make it where, like I said, very easy to get in and out. I don't want to have a major construction project if I want to convert it to people. Anyway, I guess I got to get it covered with something that doesn't look like that. So, found this old cover. This is what I'm going to use. It's heavy duty-ish. It was for covering a love seat, but uh, it's not getting used anymore. So. I am just going to wrap that around this as best as possible and staple her on down. So, yeah, there it is, coming together. You can't trust those little, I don't even know, half inch screws I put in. Because I know this is going to get knocked around harder than I want. And some of them were marginally in there anyway. This plywood, I mean, if you hit a void and you only got that much threads in it, you know. So I'm going to drill, I marked the center line. I'm gonna go ahead and drill and put in a number of screws into the plywood because, yeah, I think it needs it. And then I have the last bits of scrap here to put on and staple, and I'll just slit the holes, run the straps through, and then get this thing installed, and we'll shove a dog in there and see what they think of it. Okay, prototype completed. That's what it looked like from the front. So this is what the doggies will be looking at. Okay, let's go jam it in the truck, see what it looks like. Well, it's hard to see, but there's culprit number two. Culprit number one. Hey, Duke. Hey, buddy. Anyway, they can't get to us. This is solid. I'll show you in a minute. They can't climb over it. That's what she looks like back there. And this is solid. Ugh. I got a monkey. At least it's super solid at the bottom. And the top is pinned over there and pinned behind the backrest so it's not touching the seats. That's it. I think we got a winner. There's culprit number one. All right. Well, anyway, good luck with your project. Hopefully, uh, if you got a full-size truck and you need to separate your little friends in the back, this will help you out with an idea. No modifications done. I didn't want to drill any holes through the seat. Nothing. I left it as factory. It's just nylon straps. So, thanks for watching.